Hey there, brave adventurers! This is the Foxy Bard, here to regale you with tales of both wonder and woe. So pour some ale and grab a seat by the fire as we dig into more stories of role-playing. This story was submitted in private by a friend of mine on Discord. It involves a lot of relationship drama, alcohol, and some of the PvP leaking into real life. Let's get right to it! So this story happened when I was in college, back in 2008, when my group of friends and I spent most of our Sundays playing TTRPGs since our schedules worked for that day. We played various games like Star Wars, Pathfinder, and a World of Darkness mix of Werewolf and Vampire. The last game I played with them was 4th edition D&D, I know, <sighs> homebrew. The cast of this comedy of errors, me, the half-elf bard, my BFF, the shifter druid, my other friend, a minotaur fighter, the wizard, I can't remember the race they chose, my ex, a drow assassin, and the last man I had dated before I came out. Spoilers. And the DM. And then later, my ex's new girlfriend playing a half-elf ranger. So the background. We had a good time playing games. Me playing the bard with my BFF playing as the bard's bestie and traveling buddy. We put on shows to earn gold here and there. Our income had dried up, so we jumped at the chance to make some gold when we saw an advert for clearing out a cave of fur bogs with some other adventurers. Over time, we had many adventures that began with an epic similar to Lord of the Rings and would end in something like Monty Python or any comedy of errors type show. Over the weeks, I was getting drained with finals and several people had quit, so I had to pick up the slack here and there to make ends meet. At the time, my ex was upset with me working long hours and wanted me to quit since he and I didn't spend a lot of time with each other. I apologized as much as I could and tried to make some compromises here and there to make sure we could have some romantic times with each other. After a while, he made new friends at the college. Some seemed okay to talk to, except for the ranger. The ranger and I had a few classes together, and we didn't talk much on a friendly basis. We spoke only for clarification on an assignment or didn't understand something specific. We took a psychology and an art class together. I remained friendly with her and didn't really feel the need to make friends with her. When my ex made friends with her and her friend group, the drow would invite me to come along, but I felt I was not welcomed by the looks she gave me. I didn't think of it. The only person I knew there was her then-boyfriend at the time, since we shared classes together and talked about music, games, and comics when we were on the bus after classes. Other than that, I didn't have much interest in hanging out with that friend group. A month later, after he met them, things became more stressful with school and work. When my ex invited me to hang out with them, I did once and all they did was drink. A lot. More than I was comfortable with. I didn't mind just having a couple of drinks now and again, but it was like an evening ritual where they drank more hard liquor than I would drink at a con room party. I expressed to my ex that I was concerned that he was picking up this habit, but he dismissed it under the pretense that it was all in good fun and I was a wet towel. My ex confided this worry to the ranger, and she began getting into the habit of calling me a wet towel as a joke. My neutral disposition with her eventually turned into a dislike of her after a while. I didn't tell my then boyfriend to not hang out with her, but to watch what he says around them. Again, that was dismissed as me being just jealous. When I had some free time, thanks to the holiday break, we played more D&D, and we had the drow on autopilot because my ex had gotten busy on Sundays. He was unemployed at the time, so I assumed that it was family business. I called him a few times, and we talked cordially about how he wanted me to play his character. Fast forward to a Tuesday, I learned that the ranger's boyfriend 
learned that she was cheating and was upset. He ranted to me and I expressed my sympathies. During that week, I discovered mine was who she was cheating with when I caught them making out on a Starbucks couch. There was a lot of drama and yelling, but I am glad my druid bestie was there to help me through it and the druid let everyone know what was going on so they wouldn't be shocked. The druid had an argument with the drow and the drow assumed that I would be alright. The mage player had said, well, instead of bringing your outside drama, just be nice and keep civil and handle it like an adult. The fighter and DM agreed. I didn't want to cause a schism at the time, so I was nice when he played. I did my best work professional face and prepared for the campaign. When he arrived, he also brought the ranger along. My heart sank. Civil, I remembered. My ex helped her with drafting up a character, and she decided on being a ranger. My ex asked me for advice on making one, since I ran one before, and wanted to know what equipment to get for her. The ranger sneered and ignored me for a time. The druid basically repeated everything I said, and the ranger was more receptive to listening to her than me. <sighs> Whatever. We started her at level 3 and progressed through a campaign where we broke into a castle to save the lord of the castle from his crooked brother and the bandits he hired to disguise themselves as guards for the coup. We discussed the eventuality of keeping the hostages, if any, and agreed that I should try to do most of the talking to help avoid combat as we snuck in through the front gate. Well, the ranger had other ideas. She didn't like it if I took charge and decided to undermine any efforts we had and would do hostile actions when it came to a point where my bard had to convince the fake guards to go somewhere else. I nearly died a few times and thankfully the druid was on her A-game to make sure my poor bard didn't horribly die. After that, I had to be one step ahead of her. When she wanted to undermine me, well, my bard's silver tongue would ensure that it would become a game of Uno except with only the reverse cards. Eventually, she had to make a new character. With the wizard's help, she made a warlock and taught her how to get revenge on my character. That caused more drama than what it was worth, and the DM eventually had us take a break. The DM decided to have a barbecue potluck for the following Sunday, and we were all invited. I kept my distance from the ranger and mainly stayed in the kitchen helping the DM's wife and made some iced hibiscus tea since the DM suggested I make some. The ranger stayed away with insistence from the druid bestie, who was worried more about me than her. After dinner, we all decided to play some card games and then watched a movie with some drinks. We all talked with a few drinks, which eventually moved to the DM talking about the time he had to break up a parking lot fight since he worked security. I also discussed me breaking up a fight when some after-school kids decided to brawl in the rec center's lobby. My ex laughed and remembered since he visited me at work that time, and added in a few things he saw when the fight happened and I rushed in to tear four kids off each other over a computer. The ranger was upset and said, I can fight too, and began to jump in with people she fought and beat up before. We really didn't say much about it and changed the subject. She was getting rather upset, and I hadn't expected her to push me roughly to demonstrate, but she did. I asked her to stop and moved away from her while holding my drink. She continued and followed me to the living room, laughing as she did it again. The druid and I asked her to stop, and I gave my ex a silent plea to at least say something. He seemed humored and watched as she continued to push and push until... What is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap! I slapped her with the back of my hand. It was hard enough that she did a comical spin into the table with the booze cups and bottles. Once she recovered, she gave me this look of shock as if she did not expect me to do anything at all. My ex rushed to her and gave me an earful. 
Why did you hit her? She was just joking. My god, you didn't have to hit her. Are you that mad at me? You had to hit her? Are you serious? I thought... The druid then snapped and unloaded. You should have told your girlfriend to stop and stay away from her. It started an argument between the druid and the assassin. The ranger just glared daggers at me as I moved across the room. The DM and fighter weren't shocked that it happened. The wizard was reveling in the drama with a smug look on the couch. The DM then said, Alright, if she wants to fight the bard, go outside. Not in the house. The druid wasn't happy, but the ranger wanted to get payback from that slap. So we went into the backyard to settle things. So we threw down. Mind you, the ranger was about five foot four, and I towered over her at six feet. She was also tipsy. Maybe it was against my own better judgment, and I should have just walked away, but I was mad. Mad at her, mostly. She wanted to fight, so I obliged, hoping it would get her to leave me alone. Most of what I had done was just slap her. No punches, no kicks, no grapples. Just slaps. She wanted to catch hands, so she caught him. Ever watch the video, The Slap? Yeah, it was pretty much that. After five minutes of just slapping her, the druid and I went home, where I just broke down in the car. The aftermath. I stopped playing with the group because it was too much to deal with, and I had to grin and bear it through the time we played. The druid and I remained besties even until this day. The ranger was hell-bent on not letting that drama rest. Years later, I came out as a lesbian, and the DM told my ex and his girlfriend. She made a comment about, Well, I don't have to worry about you stealing him from me. My ex and I never talked to each other again after that night. I see them at some local haunts and stuff, but we never speak or acknowledge each other anyway. And the druid thinks it is for the best. Wow, so that all happened. While I do think that the bard resorting to throwing hands IRL wasn't the right response, the ranger was the first one to resort to getting physical. Tempers seem to be running high all around, and the complicated situations of a partner cheating on you, then bringing the person they cheated with around you all the time, can easily make for a naturally tense situation. I'm glad that OP more or less cut ties with them, and I just hope it didn't interfere with the gaming for anyone else at the table. Of course, I'm happy she was able to find herself eventually and be true to who she is. Usually the only cheaters you need to worry about at a D&D &D table are the people who are messing with the dice. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'd also love you so, so, so much if you'd feed the algorithm monster with a like or a subscribe so we can help the channel reach more viewers. Until then, let's douse the fire and get back to our own adventures.